Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to go over the step-by-step -step process of setting up Reshade so that you can make your sim look as realistic as possible. Okay, real quick, editor me here. These videos take some time to record and uh, edit, so I'll highly appreciate if you guys can leave a like, drop a like on the video. Also subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any flight sim content, live streams, shorts, all kinds of stuff. It is totally free and like I always say, you can choose to unsubscribe if you feel like the content is not connecting with you anymore uh, this is how my sim currently looks and this is uh, this is my current reshade settings that i am using which i'll i'll go over uh, shortly i'll just quickly go over how to install it and a couple of a uh, couple of important things that you need to take care of while installing uh, but yeah this is how my reshade currently uh, reshade preset currently looks like it i feel like to my eyes it looks really uh, much closer to real world than than how the flight sim by default looks like so let's go over that real quick so that you know what you're staying for so this is how my sim looks like right now and if i disable reshade this is how it looks like so i don't like the whole orange yellow tint that uh, that is there by default in msfs 2024 it doesn't look bad but i feel like just with some tweaks you can make it look really nice I haven't seen any crashes or anything with reshade and uh, I'll also show you how to save some performance so that you get the same performance as you would without reshade. So this is without reshade and this is with reshade. So like you can see that orange yellow tint just goes away completely depending on what monitor you're looking at uh, you might see a different color. Again with without reshade and this is with reshade. Okay so I'll also quickly show you how the clouds look like. This is how it looks like with reshade and this is how it looks like without. So again, even on the clouds you'll see that there's this reddish orangish tint and that's our goal with reshade is to completely remove that so that it, it looks much more realistic. And if I try to change times, you will see that even during morning time, this preset looks really, really good. So that's, uh, that's morning time. I feel like that looks very, very convincing. Uh, this is how lighting usually is in the morning. So yeah, without any further delay, let's go over the install process real quick and then dive into the reshade settings. Okay, so first things first, just download reshade from reshade.me. I'll leave a link in the description. Hit the download button, get that file. Second file you'll need is uh, this sealed sky reshade from uh, flightsim.to. Hands down the best reshade preset you will ever find. Uh, like you can see, it, it gets rid of all of this orange yellow tint that you have in MSFS 2024 and makes it very, very, very close to real life. So yeah, just download this file as well. Once you have both of those files, you will have them in your downloads. Uh, just right click run as admin it will give you this warning click ok and then select your flight simulator which is 2024 DirectX 12 select that one and then since I have already installed it is giving me option to update um, I'm just gonna show you update and then it, this is pretty much the menu that you will get is this one uh, what you want to do is just select the sealed sky res reshade preset. So browse and select the sealed sky reshade preset that you just downloaded and click open. So what this will do is this will only download the effects that you need to run this preset. And that's all we want. We don't want all kinds of effects downloaded. I don't know what these effects will do to your sim or you know, it might even cause crashes. I don't know, right? We just want to download the stuff that we need. And then once you select that, just uh, don't worry about any of this here and then just hit next and it will download the effects that are needed for this preset and then uh, don't install any add-ons here just say next and finish that's it that's all you will have to do to get uh, reshade set up for flight sim 2024 okay so back to the sim now i have enabled the msi afterburner frame rate counter so that you guys can see what kind of frame penalty we would see if we run default preset so home key can be used to bring up the reshade menu and page up will basically cycle through enabling and disabling the reshade preset so this is enabled you'll see that with enabled uh, my frames start to drop and uh, you will in fact see a drop of at least 20 fps like you see here uh, we have gone down to now 96 95 fps while i was actually getting 116 uh, 117 or so right so now again just to prove the point i'll disable reshade and you'll see that the frame rates jump back to 116 117 so how do we get rid of this penalty just open the menu here 
and then disable luma sharpen disable this one this one this one and also disable clarity hdr saturation and also colors don't leave colors enabled because you don't need that one as well so you'll see that after disabling these effects uh, you will still get most of the look that you need but the frames will still stay at 116 117 whatever i was getting before right so this is disabled and this is enabled you will see that you got rid of most of the frame penalty that you were seeing but the visuals are still 99 percent preserved so that was my quick video about reshade if you have any comments questions recommendations about this or about anything related to flight sim please make sure you leave them down in the comment section anyway happy flying over the long weekend and i will see you guys on the next one